frustration tonight over the abrupt closing of a Miriam hot tub business. Now this is more customers come forward and call for action. The Keith King has been working to get answers. Well, today I spoke with more customers who spent thousands of dollars for new hot tubs days before the state shut the doors to spa heaven. Tonight, additional government agencies are involved to help sort out this mess for taxpayers and for customers. Jim Hagen is frustrated. It's been disappointing. Uh, you know, we, we wanted a hot tub. In April, Hagen put down a $1,000 deposit for a new hot tub at Spa Heaven. It was supposed to be manufactured and delivered in three to four weeks. Four weeks goes by, five weeks goes by, my wife starts calling, and uh, no response. Hagen says the owners of Spa Heaven finally called to say their spa was about to be delivered and asked for full payment, nearly $7,500. Hagen put it on a credit card. Days later, the Kansas Department of Revenue shuts down Spa Heaven for failing to pay $60,000 in back taxes. Why the state of Kansas would shut down a company you know, who knows how many people are affected. The Johnson County District Attorney's Office is also involved trying to help consumers who spent money at Spa Heaven. And this afternoon, the Kansas Department of Revenue released this statement to call for action, saying they have turned over a list of customers to the bank who will be handling the business affairs of Spa Heaven. We expect them to initiate contact and put closure to their transactions. Now, customers who paid with credit cards should contact their card company to begin disputing those charges. Also, contact the Johnson County District Attorney's Office and file a consumer complaint. You can find contact information at our website, KSHB.com. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.